500 years ago, some people wanted to get more accuracy out of their muskets, so they decided to add a twist, and thus, rifles were born. A rifle is essentially any gun that has spiraling grooves cut into the inside of the barrel. This process and attribute is known as rifling. The idea of rifling is borrowed from the bow and arrow. Medieval archers noticed that by letting their arrow spin in flight, it gave them much greater accuracy. This spin was achieved by adding a slight twist to the feathers on the arrow. Rifles, on the other hand, spin their projectiles using grooves cut into the barrel. As the gunpowder is ignited and pressure builds, the bullet is pushed through the barrel. The bullet, with its softer copper or lead exterior, is then forced to grip into the rifling grooves of the harder barrel. As the bullet travels down the barrel, it continues to spin along the grooves until it exits the barrel. By letting projectiles rotate along its flight axis, rifling essentially turned these projectiles into flying gyroscopes capable of resisting change to their trajectory. Just as a top can keep standing upright as long as it spins, a projectile can keep itself pointing on target as long as it maintains its spin as well. Virtually every projectile weapon today uses rifling. However, there is one notable exception in the case of tank cannons. As modern tank armor advances, tank cannons need greater penetrating power to remain effective. To achieve maximum penetration, a very long and thin kinetic penetrator projectile is required. But to effectively stabilize these ammunition will require unrealistic amounts of rotational speeds, as the amount of rotational speed required for stabilization is proportional to the projectile's length versus its diameter. Thus, tank cannons are kept as smoothbores and use fins to stabilize their ammunition. So now that you know what rifling is and how it works, the next time you marvel at Russell Wilson's touchdown passes, it's appropriate to say he's got an arm like a cannon. Thanks for watching.